so I just added the landing gear and um, it slides inside so you should have a little hole here right so it slides that way so you have ideal space for your motors left and then when you slide it inside you can see here I used just a little bit little bit of glue in order to fix the landing gear so it, it definitely sits there nicely and it doesn't move before we go uh, any further let's have a look at the flight control itself uh, in this case I'm using um, F3 Evo brush receiver um, which is a Chinese clone and I think they're available on Banggood uh, and I got this scheme from the online shop exactly the same way I got this uh, flight controller from so it is very important guys you before uh, solder uh, go to the soldering be sure you know where to solder all the wires and you can always ask any of these guys uh, online shops to send you to show you the the scheme the scheme and uh, you can always print it out so let's have a look at this flight controller so uh, here we can see it says DSM and DSM type receivers are normally spectrum and JR radios so if we were to use um, DSM, DSM receiver um, we would see that this here is um, signal wire then ground and then positive signal ground positive so normally white one is uh, signal then we have black ground and red positive so what we can do now we can just imitate so we are all sure where to solder so first is signal right so let's use some tape then we have ground All right ground is black normally is black wire and then is 3.3 volts so it's red All right so this is how we would need to solder in um, this case I'm using the Radiolink SBUS receiver and SBUS comes to UART2 which is here so it's a second row so this is UART2 so SBUS and PPM type receivers are going to UART2 so if we have a look here we'll find that the first one here soldering point is ground then we have plus 5 volts and the third one is signal wire so we can imitate again first is ground okay let's put the ground let's stick the ground Okay, ground then we do have plus 5 volts and then the third one is a signal okay and we have signal so one two three now let's have a look at the motors so this is m1 m2 m3 are standing for the motors and it's easy to know plus is uh, positive and minus is ground so these are the four motors we will use 
So the um, motors with blue and red wire are the clockwise spinning motors and black and white are anti-clockwise spinning motors. So this is the frame, this is the flight controller, obviously this is the front and this is the rear of the flight controller. So it goes this way. Clockwise, top left and bottom right, anti-clockwise, top right and bottom left. So, let's start with motor one. So this is motor one. Blue wire is ground and red is positive. So we can see that positive is here. All right, positive, blue, cool. Then motor two, black is normally ground and white is positive here in this case. So one comes here, another comes here. And then motor three. So white is positive. Then we do have round. Motor four, Pla uh, red is positive, so it's plus, and we do have as well blue, and it's minus. All right. Now another thing which we need to do, we need to solder the um, batteries plug um, wires, and it's easy to see plus and minus so red is normally positive and um, black is ground so these are the two soldering points so it's plus and minus so plus goes here and minus goes here the last thing is the camera and before we solder the camera we can always have a look and check in the manual and see what is the operating voltage let's find this information here and uh, we can see that input power it says here is 2.5 to 5 volts so if we were to wire the camera's wires directly to the battery soldering points, uh, we would burn the camera because remember, we are using the 2S batteries. We're using 2S batteries and they are 7.4 7 volts. So they are 7.4 volts. Yes, they are 7 0.4 volts, so we cannot uh, solder this um, um, camera directly to the battery soldering points. Instead, we can use UART3, and we can see here one is plus 5 volts on ground, and it's ideal because it states here from 2.5 to 5 volts. So plus 5 volts and bottom is ground the only one difference I don't know why this scheme has four motors and here we can see 
six motors, uh, the places for the six motors. However, remember we are building the quadcopter and quadcopter has four motors. So we'll use four motors. So normally it's M1, M2, M3 and M4. So M6 and M5 are for um, hexacopters and we do not need them. 